Hello everyone. My name is Jitendra Bafna. I am a senior solution architect. In last two video, we have seen what is universal API management and the Flex Gateway. Then later we have seen like how to set up a Flex Gateway on the Docker engine. And also we have created a multiple replicas for that particular Flex Gateway. You can see we have created this Mule Demo Gateway one and we have set up a two replicas. Now in this video, we are going to see how to manage the API using a Flex Gateway. So let me quickly start. So before that, like, you know, I need to set up uh, a mule runtime on the Docker container. So I have already published one video, uh, like how to uh, run a uh, Docker or mule runtime on the Docker engine. So let me quickly start with that. So basically I have already created a Docker file. So let me show that. So this is a Docker file and this is my mule runtime. So I already have a video on that. So I will not going to explain in deep. So this is my uh, Docker file like, you know, so which will going to set up a mule runtime on the Docker engine. Okay. So for that, I have a simple command. I have to use the simple command. So this is the command. First, I have to build the image. I will copy this command. I am saying Docker build minus T mule demo and your Docker file. So what I will do, I will use the command prompt on this particular folder and I will just run this command. So this will uh, build a mule runtime image. Okay, it, it has been run. So you can see uh, it has created uh, images for your mule runtime. Now I have to run this. Okay, so so basically here I, I will say docker run minus d minus name. So it's a mule run name of the instance then port. So basically the traffic will come on 9000 9, on the container and the traffic will redirect to 9001 basically. So that, what does this port means? whenever we want to access the any application deployed in the container right so you have to send the traffic to 9000 your and your application have a http listener must be listening on 9001 port so request will come on the container on port 9000 and it will redirect the request to the port 9001 so copy this command and run it okay so you can see your container has been created. So if you go to Docker desktop, so you can see your container has been uh, created. So here also you can see the two instance of your replicas for Flex Gateway is running. Here your container is running. Now what I will do, I will go into register this Mule runtime into your AnyPoint platform. So for that, I can go to a servers. Under server, uh, let me delete this. This is old one. Okay, I will say add server. I can say mule one. Copy this command. Go to your ter like uh, Docker desktop. Go to container. Then go to mule runtime. You can open a CLI. Then you can say pwd. You are under opt mule. You have to go to bin folder. Then run this command. Once you run this command, your server will get registered into your AnyPoint control plane. Now you have to restart your mule runtime. So let mule runtime to restart. Once it will restart, you will see this is in the running mode or in the connected mode. So let's wait while it's running. So let me go to container. Let me go to mule runtime. Yeah, it is running. It's deployed now. Let me refresh it. It's still in created mode. I'm waiting for my application to run. So also I have one simple application here in downloads, Flex Gateway Demo. So that application is listening on port 9001 and it's written a small JSON basically. So if you see when like when we created a container, a Docker container, where we have seen like, you know, you will send a request on port 9000 and your application must be listening on 9001. That's why this particular application is listening on 9001 basically. Let me check. Uh, I don't think it is restarted yet. So let me do that. Okay, so it should restart quickly. Generally, it doesn't take this much of the time for restart. I'm waiting for my application to restart. Yeah, it is restarting now. Yeah, it is restarted. 
so let me check whether the yeah it is in running mode now i can deploy my application to mule runtime i will say deploy application i will say mule uh, flex uh, demo then i have to select the target as my mule runtime uh, on cust or docker mule runtime then i can upload a file i can go to downloads and i can upload this deploy application okay so let's wait while application is deploying and then we can use http our application is listening on port 9000 9001 but what i mentioned we have to send the traffic on 9000 basically http localhost 9000 and the path is api slash employees so let me do that yeah we got a successful response so in that case what will happen so we are sending the request to the container which is listening on 9000 and container have redirect your request to the port 9001 right so but our application is listening on port 9001 okay so next thing like now i want to enable or i want to enable uh, api gateway or flex gateway on the top of this what we can do so for that uh, you have to go to flex gateway okay you can go to uh, your flex gateway you can go to apis now you can say add api okay. either uh, you can like now you have to select which gateway this is the flex gateway i can say next either you can create a new api basically or you can select from actions i will create a new api and here i can say mule employees demo okay and i will select the type as a http api then i will say next now your api will register in any point exchange okay then like you have to provide your implementation uri so what is your implementation uri so for that you have to search the ip address of your laptop because your api is running in the container so ip address is 192.168.108 so i will say http the ip then i have to provide the port number which port number i will provide not a application port number i will provide 9000 which is the container port number okay so you can say next then like by default your application will listen like this api gateway will listen on port 8081 you can say save and deploy it is applying okay so you can monitor your api gateway or flex gateway also so you can go to anyone like you know you can monitor like you know something will happen here so let me check uh, now instead of 9000 i can use 8081 you got a successful response with 8081 now the request is coming on port 8081 it is going to the container port 9000 from container it is going to the application which is listening on 9001 now what i can do like you know so with that i can apply any policies and anything basically like you know so now by now there is a no policy applied to your api right so let me do that so i can go to policies of that particular api instance i can say add policy and i can apply any policy you want i will use simple basic authentication and i can give some admin username admin password apply okay close so let's wait the policy has been successfully created let me open the age also http localhost it is prompting me for username and the password then you can you got a successful response right so that is how you can enable or you can manage your any apis you can secure your amy any apis use, using this flex gateway or universal api management capability apart from that like you can also go to api administration you can click on your api and you like you know you can see some key matrices also this is recently introduced dashboard so you can see the key matrices you know so all those things like what is the total error what is the average response time so there are few key matrices is also available right so what we have learned till now so we have seen like what is universal api gateway what is flex gateway how to create a flex gateway on docker engine then how to uh, deploy the application in docker engine and then how to enable how to enable a api gateway on the top of your application and how to apply a policies for your apis basically how to manage your apis 
so that is how you can manage your non MuleSoft api or MuleSoft api it doesn't matter where it is located it's located on kubernetes or any linux windows or anywhere or it's in on in any cloud you can easily manage from any point platform i hope you like the video if you like the video please click on like like and subscribe button thanks for watching